The best way to predict your future is to create it, not from the known, but from the unknown. What thoughts do you want to fire and wire in your brain? What behaviors do you want to demonstrate in one day? The act of rehearsing them mentally, closing your eyes and rehearsing the action. So whatever impact or success or reaching goals or growth or whatever you say, on one level in the physical world, it's about how well you harness your physiological and your psychological process. Knowledge is power, but knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment. If you are little sensitive to life, you will realize you are the biggest issue in your life. So this is one thing that I'm trying to do with people, that you are never the issue in your life. I'm not the issue. My thought, my emotion, my body is never the issue. My thought, my emotion, my energy and my body are my instruments of function. They are not impediments in my life. But I would say for ninety percent of the human beings, their own body, then the compulsions of the body, the compulsions of their thought, the compulsions of their emotions are ruling them most of the time. So when you yourself are a problem, well, you're on self-help. Whether your body and mind works against you or works for you, this is a big difference. So there is enough evidence to show only when you're in pleasant levels of experience, this happens best. So obviously, joy is first, then growth. If you're joyful constantly and you have no fear of suffering because you understand all human experience comes from within you, and so you have managed to create the kind of experience that you want, now growth is possible and riddled. If you have the fear of falling down and suffering, you will not go very high. So this one fundamental thing has to get across to all the human beings on this planet. Your experience is entirely determined by you. This is what the word karma means, unfortunately. It's become something else here. Karma means action. That means when we say your life is your karma, we are saying your life is entirely your making, hundred percent. What happens in the world? There are many, many forces involved. What happens within me? It's one hundred percent me. If you don't take charge of this, then you're an accidental life. When you're an accidental life, anxiety is very natural. The moment you start feeling abundant and worthy, you are generating wealth. The moment you're empowered and feel it, you're beginning to step towards your success. The moment you start feeling whole, your healing begins. And when you love yourself and you love all of life, you'll create an equal. And now you're causing an effect. We're not here as human beings having a spiritual experience. It's the other way around. We are all infinite spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. And coming to a place where we live our lives from that infinite place and beginning to know our soul. As we sit here, this is my body, that's your body. This is my mind, that's your mind. But there's no such thing as this is my life and that's your life. If this is a living cosmos, everybody is free to capture as much as they want. If you capture substantial amount of life, your very presence will become a significant life. Otherwise, you will become a mediocre life. This is an important thing. It's not the knowledge you gather in your head, it's not the muscle that you gather in your body, it's the life. We'll use another analogy, a dream. Let us say we're dreaming that we're being attacked by a tiger. In that condition, we're really afraid. We're, we're perspiring, we may even be rolling and screaming in our bed. Now, is that dream real or illusion? The reality is we are having that dream. And the reality, there are tigers somewhere. <laughs> the illusion is we're identifying with it. We're thinking that that is me in this dream, and that tiger is, is about to eat me. Mm. But in actuality, the dream is real, we're real, but when we're misidentifying with that dream, thinking that that's happening to me now, then that's the illusion. That's the idea of yoga or true spirituality. 
to actually learn to live in harmony with one's own self. We have this physical body, we have the mind and all of the thoughts and emotions that come through the mind, but who are, who are we? I am seeing through my eyes, I'm hearing through my ears, I'm touching through my flesh, I'm tasting through my tongue, I'm thinking through my brain, and I'm loving through my heart. But who is that me? That me is the essential consciousness that's giving life to every other aspect of our existence, our body and our mind. Consciousness is you is unique, but it's part and parcel of what is universal. And unless we understand that uniqueness of our own true consciousness, then we can't really appreciate the universal nature and how we're all actually connected. Everything is connected and everyone is connected, and everything and everyone in this world is interdependent. And Emerson said that the reason why there's so many problems in this world is because human beings are disconnected from their own true self. The senses, the mind, the intelligence requires to be in harmony with the heart and with the living force within the heart, which we call the, the soul or the spirit. And when we understand the sacredness, the beauty, the eternal nature of our own spirit, then we can recognize it in creation and we can recognize it in others. When we don't realize, experience, perceive the sacredness of our own true self, then our perception is an illusion of the world. But when we understand who we are and understand our harmony and relationship with the world around us and the people around us, then we're actually seeing everything as truth. We're seeing as a, a, a spiritual reality, even in this world. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Albert Einstein once observed that uh, you have the most fundamental and major decision that you have to make in your life is this. Do I live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Which is it? Is it a universe that is filled with hostility and anger and people wanting to hate each other and people wanting to kill each other? Is that what you see? Because when you see the world that way, that's exactly what you will create for yourself in your life. This is from great scientific minds.